Horticulture. Back at it again, it's the Horticulture Podcast. We have a special guest with us again. Oh, not again, sorry about that. <laughs> First timer, Ryan. How Ryan. How y'all doing? How you like the car, Ryan Bundy or Hi, my name is Ryan. What do you prefer? Uh, it's a bit of both, you know. I got, I got how my name is Ryan from uh, being a part of members only and shit. Uh-huh. And I made Ryan Bundy myself. Because everybody in the group, they were basically getting their names off of Halloween kind of vibes. Uh-huh. So I was just like, eh, I always wonder how everybody remembers when they get their names. So it was Halloween vibes? Yeah, it was like Halloween vibes, you know. Um, so like Tankhead and... Nah, not even like Tankhead. It was just like, I was mostly around my ex and Ski. Mm-hmm. So like John... Oh, so Ski so mask, cool. Ski and Halloween yeah. mask. Okay, yeah. everything starts so, to make sense. Uh, that's why I got Ride Bundy from. Um, I just like the name Bundy. You know, it just the story flows line. off the tongue. Did you, did you name did, it that before the documentary or because of that documentary? No, not it was way before the documentary. Okay. I did my research about Ted Bundy. It was crazy, you feel me? Like, serial killer, crazy. Mm. But the name Bundy. Nah, like, he was on a different tone. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, he was yeah, fucking dead yeah, courts and shit. He was, he was on some yeah. shit. But the name Bundy was like, it flew you know, it kind of stick, so. And there actually is a story behind it, so I, I'm more of a person that's like, in depth of things. You know? Go ahead and speak up, man. You be here, man. I know, I know. I just, I be nervous, so I had to get high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that. So go ahead and tell us the story behind the name that you say is the story behind it. Um, it's kind of funny, uh, really. My name's like, how my name's Ryan? Mm-hmm. How I got Ryan is because, like, I was around Draw so much, and then every time he would, like, call me, he'd be like, Ryan! And he said like that, mm-hmm. like country accent kind of. So then they were like, yo, you know, you should just hop on the beat one time, like, just say this. That was your first time hopping on the beat ever? First time. Uh-huh. I did like music, you feel me? I did piano, I did drums. I never knew that. Yeah, like. That's cool. And we went to the same yeah, high school too. I didn't know he was into music at all. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he was just more like the, the, the cool kid with the swag, the little dress up, that's Clothes it. My thing, Clothes, you know, I never expected him to be into music. It, it just happened, honestly. Like, life, life is crazy, though. I can't cap. Life is crazy. Life is crazy, you know? You just get into a, whatever life throws at you. And it was lit. That's all I can really say. It was lit. So uh, he told you, he was like, yo, you snapping. And then that's when you started taking it serious? Or was no, it was there a process? I just started seeing everybody else. <laughs> what it was, was everybody had their own thing and their own vibe. You feel me? That's what created members only. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, everybody had their own, basically, skills to add to the group. And that's what made everybody whole. Me, I was just... Uh, more on the aspects of overseeing everything and like setting up kind of like uh, I guess somewhat plays like oh you know we could do this or we could do that or like I'll just throw out ideas I'll just so you was like the ideas. coordinator in a way? yeah yeah but um not really like a coordinator for me I'll just throw out ideas and I'll just like tell people certain things like I think this would be cool and then be like yeah I'll do it and then it you know ends up good and like, yeah. they give you credit for that in the song because I know you mm-hmm. know how- Cause you know Kanye have a whole bunch of people in the room sometimes that he be putting like credit to this person, credit to this nah, person. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't get no credit. I was just sitting there. Damn. Um, but you know, any song that says I'm in the I mean you're living my face card good or any other thing. You know, I'm on that. So. Okay. It was a, it was a, it was a wild ride as you can see. After high school, whole music vibe and life. How did you even meet up with everybody? How did you meet X? Because in high school, people used to tell me that he used to come around Core Springs High, but I never seen him. I never noticed him. I never heard of him. Um, how I met Ja was from Stokely. And Stokely's from Broad, correct? Yeah, he was going to Springs. Oh, he was going to Springs. Yeah, he was going to Springs. Wait, at the time. What year he graduated? Your year or my year? No, he left. Like, I met him because he had, like, it was kind of crazy. He had like a little book of fucking like raps and shit. Raps? Yeah, like he was writing. Oh, so he was writing in high school? Yeah, and then I was like, oh, this shit is fire, bro. Like, you could really get into music. Like, your bars are pretty sick. And he was like, damn, you know, he didn't really take it all that serious. And, you know, I just kept encouraging him and he disappeared. And then later, he was like, hey, I want you to meet somebody. Then I made up the job. Yeah. History. Now uh, everybody's <laughs> superstars and shit. Yeah, everybody's superstars. I'm just doing what I love. So it's pretty nice. I've 
I got my own clothing brand, and I work at a print shop, so. Was so that you got some jackets or print or no? I print. actually do got some stuff in the trunk, you know. Okay, okay. I got, I got oh. some new your trip on here. Everybody getting drips today, everybody getting drips today. Yeah, I got, um, I got, what's, what size you got? Um, a large. You're small. small? What size you guys? Medium. 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 Extra. I don't know if I got a shirt for everybody. I mean, do what you can. Yeah, but, you feel me? I, I got, I got, <laughs> I made sure I got like a sorted size. And where I work at, you feel me, you guys should, should definitely, you know. Speaking of that, you should probably go him after too, because he's trying, he's trying to start a clothing brand too. Oh, where? Right? Yeah, you got a print shop. Oh, print pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. talk to you too, because we got some stuff that we're trying to print out for the podcast. Oh, yeah. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So, we can get that going. All right. So, let's, uh, so, I never knew you was Jamaican. You Jamaican, bro. Yeah. Like, born there. Oh, you were born in Jamaica? Yeah, I was born in Jamaica. I'm real Jamaican, man. 100%. Uh-huh. You wanna rock with me? Huh? You wanna rock with me? <laughs> you wanna rock with me? You have to be a kid, you know? Okay. <laughs> what right. was the last time you went there? <clears throat> the last time I went there was 2017 or 18. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a fair it was my grandfather's funeral. I'm slouching and shit. My bad. I'm no, like, you're not slouching, you're just twirling. Enjoying <laughs> <laughs> you. Relax. 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 All right. Um. So I know you said that you, the way you explained the story. So you're not part of members only no more. Well, I wouldn't even like say it like that. I mean, I mean you're like, tied to them because that's where you started. Yeah. As like, of, like I didn't I, like no disrespect to anybody. Like it's like everybody doing their own thing. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Everybody living their life, and you got to realize that. You feel me? So. Live my life is there day. even a members only I period mean, no. or is it just because it seems like everybody's like everybody on their own thing. different thing even everybody take it like road chat roach that's it yeah, right roach. Roach doing his thing everybody doing their thing you feel me that's all it is i haven't spoken to like a lot of people because mm-hmm. it's just it is what it is you know you don't want to touch that subject nah it is what it is. It seems like ever since uh, R.P. Jaws, ever since he passed, it kind of went kind of everybody separate. Well, you know, how I look at it is, um, I take myself out the aspect, and I be around a lot of people that's how should I say it? How should I say it? I feel like everybody lives in different categories. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like once you live a certain life, you're around different people. And I was always around regular, genuine people, you feel me, that lived their everyday to day life. And then I was brought into people that was just fucking crazy, lit, doing what they wanted to do. So. Oh, so what you're saying is members only started as something genuine and then it started turning into something crazy. I don't think he's saying that it's, it's changing. He's just kind of saying that he's used into a custom to a certain vibe and it's now just not the same vibe anymore. Right. Yeah. It's and, just a different dynamic. People change. People come so in. You're growing yourself, pretty much. Exactly. So I'm you're growing. growing. So if you feel me, I'm doing the steps that I need to. to okay. So to as you get older, life. you're not with all that certain things. Yeah. Exactly. Thing. You feel me? You grow out of it. Like I've been in, doing this for like five, <coughs> six years. Come on, man. Come on, man. I got, I got, I got distracted. But yeah, I've been doing this for like five, six years, man. So like, it's a, it's a crazy, uh. It's a, it's, a, it's a crazy fucking career to get into, you know, so uh, it's like a shark, shark, it's like a shark tank. You're living a rock star life yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you're living a rock star life, but it's like Shark Tank because like, everybody wants to do music now. And like seeing somebody like, or being a part of people that actually blow up, like blow up, it's just Yeah, I can just imagine if you, if you was there, like you've seen X job blow up. Not and even not even him, you know, um, everybody um, else. Um, ski mask too, not just yeah. X. Yeah. Was Curry always involved with uh, members only or no? Yeah, Curry, 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 Curry like helped jumpstart members, bro. Like, I'm not gonna cap, cause he put John into uh, ULT, his group. 
And then what is ULT? I'm not. I don't know. Well, he had a group called ULT. You feel me? Uh-huh. So like, um, he was adding people. He had Joe him there. You feel me? And Joe was like, Yo, I got my gang members only. But it's not a gang. It's just a gang. My group members only. You feel me? And then he was like, Yeah, sure. And that's you know how we met Denzel because we would have meetings at Zell's house, and you know it's just a lit opportunity. You know, just vibes was matched and everybody just rocked with everybody and it was pretty sick. Um, I wouldn't say like Ipsel is part of members only, like he was around for like a lot of things, you feel me? And like he he had his group. <coughs> you know like when you got two different groups and you fuck with each other? Yeah. And then you feel me? I, I fuck with that group, you know, support that group, but I'm just group basically. Okay. So that's what it was. All right. So, do you, so you, do you, do you, you still keep in touch with everybody? Y'all still support each other? I mean, yeah. I mean, even if I don't talk to anybody, I still see what they post and stuff on Instagram. Mm-hmm. But, like, I still close. I have to be on social media to promote my brand and mm-hmm. check out different brands and, you know, look at what's what kind of different artists out there. Like, me, I'm, I don't want to just brand myself as a clothing designer or like a musician. I'm basically like a jack of all trades. That's what I try to do. Entrepreneur? Yeah, entrepreneurship, you feel me? Jack of all trades. I try to do everything, literally everything. If I could get my hands onto a piece of anything and learn it, then I could do it, you feel me? I, I don't want to limit myself to just one lane, you feel me? I want to be able to be like, yeah, I can, uh, I can be in 10 different lanes if I need to. I can ship me. You want to be in control of your life or we, I mean, Yeah, you feel me? I want to, I want to be able smart. to... That's right, you get a bunch of different opportunities. Yeah, it, it's kind of crazy because... Um, you don't get bored doing the same exactly. thing over and over again. Exactly. Because I've tried it and I'm like, this is not fun and this is not life. Mm-hmm. Life is supposed to be exciting, you feel me? So, um, my teacher back in high school... Which crazy. teacher? Uh, I forgot. It's my English teacher. Uh... Yeah. I can't remember none of my baby teacher that she was lit. I can't remember her name though. Um, no, was she that short tall. lady? No, that no, she was a she was pretty teacher. tall. She was pretty tall. But one thing in life she told me, she was like, hey, you guys are about to graduate and everything. But one thing in life, if it wasn't all this schoolwork and shit, she was like, she literally said it like that. If it's not for all this schoolwork and shit, one thing I'm gonna tell y'all right now, get into everything, <coughs> everything. Dip your hands into everything. Get to know everything, because if you don't, once, once, if you don't go to college, and if you don't basically have a career or something that you want to do, mm-hmm. you're basically in a gray area. And then you're going to be like, what am I going to do with my life? That's why people started doing music. They got their other freelance things to, you know, art, all that other things, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So. Dip your hands into everything, that's what she told me, so you, as you said, you won't be bored with life or you'll be stuck doing the same routine and you'll never get out because you don't know what else you can do. So you might as well get into everything so you know, all right, I could do this if I want to. You know, like life is like, oh, if I want to, no, it's not, if I have to, it's like, oh, I know about it, so I can I'm just do it. Right, so, that's true. So yeah, that's, uh, that's one thing. Um, Damn. So since you do printing, do you want to open your own or you just continue doing it? Well, like my... Your own printing shop. My own printing shop? Yeah. I mean... Because, I mean, you have your clothing line, so... Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm in the process of learning everything to just become my own print shop. I have my own, like, printing you know, services. Like, I'm trying to be become a one-stop shop. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be able to do embroidery, uh, direct garment, which is uh, a giant printer that you can just throw shirts in and it will just print the image straight from like a design. So, yeah, that's what we're going to need. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I could do direct garment, embroidery, um, screen printing, you know, just trying to do all assets and then also include shipping, which is... Uh, that's smart. Yeah, which is something that not a lot of people do. Yeah, because it low key cuts the cost for other people to see, but you can always jack up your prices exactly. a couple dollars more. So I'm just gonna charge people a monthly, monthly rate, and you can ship up to, let's say, like two to fifty, you know, items. He's gonna for be this monthly competition cost. that way too. 
Mm-hmm. Basically, it's like I'm a small scale Amazon. Jeff Bezos, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Yeah. It's not the same Ron I knew in high school. Like, hey, man, right, a lot of things up. change, man. A lot of things change, you know, when you uh, go out there in life, you know, it opens your eyes and you just you just gotta live with it. Keep <laughs> acting. So I see that you're in a relationship now. Do you feel like the relationship kinda of made you grow up faster too or no? Relationship. I wouldn't say made me grow up faster. I would say it has changed my mindset like, from when I was younger. You know what they say, uh, every successful man has a strong woman behind him. Exactly. And you knew where was it? I used to be a church boy. I used to be a church boy, so you know, um, there was a scene when I was in church one time, they said that, you know, the head of the household is supposed to be the man, you know? The leader? Yes, the leader, the man and everything. <coughs> the face, but what rotates and has all the ligaments and everything, it's the neck. And who's the neck? Your wife? Exactly. So she basically is supposed to support. handle everything, but you, you're the face of overseeing it. She's a supporter of your neck. Exactly. exactly. True. You can't move your head or nothing yeah. without your neck. Of course I agree. I'm a wife. <laughs> I mean, some girls say like, I don't need a man. No, no. I mean, you don't really need a man. Everybody Nobody needs anything. No, realistically, like, everybody can survive without needing a companion. It's just Oof. nice to have one. And realistically, when you have one, women you can have the whole shipping in the house. Sorry. It sucks. Okay. Don't, don't. You guys don't like to clean and cook. I, and like, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, know, like, a lot of guys don't like to do those type of things Coming every day. Coming from a third world you know? country, you have to. Well, yeah, that's you true. To. But it's not necessarily like what you want to do, you know? Yeah. You guys work, come home, cook, clean. Do you do that? Yeah, that's some blunts. The blunts are that. I can't. <laughs> 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 All right, so. <laughs> um. <laughs> So go ahead and tell us how you how the name start for you pulling on like how did you, why did you paranoia disorder became the name for my clothing brand because I was off acid at the porn house. You said acid? Yes. You took acid? Bro? Yes. I rose. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which you don't know, don't tell you. <laughs> nah, it's just, I don't know. I never That's took it. Said. I heard people tell me stories about That's it. Just, yeah. I haven't either. I've so, been all around for two years, and in those two years, I had a spiritual journey. So it gives you a spiritual journey? I've had a spiritual journey. Off of doing acid? Uh, or or just in general? Because of acid? Because I go to Colorado. Well, not because of acid, acid you feel me? Not because of acid? Not because of acid, it's because of... Acid is like, it just, it just changes your like whole mental situation you feel me like you feel like when you're all right let's just say this you wake up every day you feel me and you, you live your life and but your mindset feels like it's in the same mindset and nothing's changing mm-hmm. take acid one day you're going to be like wow all the answers that i've thought you know or were looking for they just appeared to me you feel me that's how acid feels to me honestly or it always been in your head he's just kind of and then acid just clicks it in you feel me? So how you still take acid or something that like I haven't taken acid in a long time, but just let's just say I'm a I'm a drug hunter. <laughs> let's mm-hmm. just say that. You better be careful, boy. You see all these people dying off of these overdoses oh, yeah. stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. I do. Trust me, I do. But there's always a certain thing, you feel me? I don't go too crazy. I don't like say I'm gonna pop two per thirties and still survive. That's just insane. I mean, I have a question. This is probably really ignorant, but this is how much I don't know about drugs. What exactly is like acid? Like, is it like a Molly? Like, what is what? No, I acid like, what is um, like LSD, LSD, which is um, <laughs> kind of like a. Does it look like I don't know? It's, it's, it doesn't look like I anything. Acid, I don't know. acid doesn't look like anything or taste like anything. It's man-made uh, to basically f- fuck with your brave, well, not brave brain. So functions. what is it like a plant? No, it's, I don't know. it's literally like liquid. 
But I could argue with you. Shrooms, all right. Acid is man made. Shrooms is like a mushroom, obviously. Acid is man made. Shrooms is homegrown, basically. But if shrooms really? comes from the earth, and it gives you the same effects. Acid is man made, and it's like a liquid. Okay. I'd rather you mess with something that comes with the earth from the earth than something that's man made. Almost anything man made is dangerous for you in your body. Period. Yeah. Yeah, and this is when paranoia came from. Oh, so you were paranoid, pretty much. When yeah, you... I was paranoid, you feel because when I took acid at the porn house, I had a really good I trip. I keep first. hearing about this porn house shit. This shit was real? Yeah, bro. I mean, he's saying it. No, but like, I had somebody else that was on, you know, like, porn house, porn house. I forgot the guy's wow. name. I had that, like, I had, a, I think. Yeah, I lived there for two years. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I might need to take a stop, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh no! You should have grown up from that. I was like, when I was not even in my twenties. So, okay. Um, I just want to see, you know. Yeah. I don't want to touch. I just want to see. I don't think anybody really is no. Eyes when the back of my house. Sitting two eyes, it's like, it's like, eh. Uh, I could be doing something way better than sure club better, huh? Okay. We could bring a shawty home if we want to. Nah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so anyways, about the brim, uh, yeah, I was tripping off acid. I had a good trip. I thought all, I had all the answers to life. You feel me? My brain was literally clicking. It was working like 300 miles per hour. I was about to ask you that. Was your brain like going fast as hell? Okay. It felt like I had, okay, when I was off acid, it felt like everything I knew in thought bubbles was in a spider web. And then I can just pick and choose. And then I'm like, oh yeah, the answer's to life. Boom, right Good question. Have you had oh, sex with right on there. acid? I can't really imagine you. <laughs> like, <laughs> Sorry, that sounds really, I like, like a, jack a really creepy thing. I have not. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have not. I'm surprised you didn't try that. I have not. I not had sex with anybody. Probably quick too, not think about it. <laughs> why I, why me personally, I have not had sex with anybody off acid is because yeah, you have to do it with anybody, but when you're off acid, you really turn into a vibe, and it's like, I don't know how to really explain it. So like some you monk shit. Uh huh? Like some monk shit, like you just start. Yeah, basically. But you, you, you want to you do it with someone. If you're gonna have if you're gonna have sex off acid, you want to do it with someone that you love and actually care about, because mm -hmm. it those emotions will, you know, transpire. Yeah, exactly. Got it. So yeah. Right. Yeah, that's have some intense shit. Somebody off acid. But. <laughs> what I was saying, the, uh, felt like I had answers to life and everything, and then somewhere along those lines, I had a bad, I had a bad trip, and I was talking to everybody at the courthouse. I don't fully remember what I was saying, but I think I was speaking about life and how life is a cycle, and if you keep doing the same things, you will be, you know, you'll be caught in the cycle. So. I was just basically telling everybody, like, you know, you gotta basically try to break this cycle and stuff, and people were crying. I don't remember it. Like, I really don't remember it. Like, all I remember was, was talking about cycles, life is a cycle, and stuff like that. Man, you sound like my homeboy. Every time he gets high, that boy go missing, bro. <laughs> you have to go looking for his ass, and then he starts talking about some stupid shit that he don't even know what he's talking about. I'm looking at him like, nigga, what the fuck you talking about? But they, <laughs> no, but they, but it was so crazy because like I felt like I didn't I know what like I was talking about. I feel like people actually have like alternate experiences. Yeah, yeah I thought it was going with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I felt like I didn't know what I was talking about, but everybody like took it in their own way, and then they felt it, and they literally cried tears in front of me. Oh, you can't go with some part. <laughs> it's not gonna come up. It's not. Gonna come up. <laughs> it's like. I don't know, like, why would somebody Where, list a Am I in a bubble? Am I just, like, really old or something? Well, back in your days, they used to have a courthouse on Google or something? No, I don't even know what that is. A courthouse? What the hell? No. Uh, I don't know. I don't even have to explain that to you. What's a Google is about to explain a that. House, a courthouse is, well... <sighs> Enlighten me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A like pornhouse schooled right now. A pornhouse is well my description of a pornhouse ex experience of a pornhouse was a porn star owning a mansion and So it's like Hugh Hefner's house or something. Huh? <coughs> Say it's like what? Hugh like Hefner. Hugh Hefner's house or yeah, something. Yeah, basically like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like Hugh Hefner and Oh, I didn't know if it was like some like 
There's like the Playboy Club in New York. I don't fucking know. No, Playboy like, Mansion. You guys have Point House. That's basically the best description. Is it like a it's, brothel it's or a Playboy, I don't know? It's a Playboy House. Brothel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll see now. You know, yeah. I used to make my lingo there. Now we understand. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Got this now. Now you have your Google back. Yeah, I was sitting there. Um, I made people cry. And then the being paranoia just came came to mind because I thought life was going to be a cycle. I was like, damn, if I don't find the answers to life right now, I'm going to get caught in a cycle. And I was literally so stressed that I fought paranoia. Like, I literally had paranoia. And that's how, that's how deep I was thinking into it. I think you just felt like that inside of you already it just came out. I don't know, man. I've seen a lot of crazy experience. things through life. So it made me who I am today, which is someone that loves to chill. And I mean, you've always been chill, really. Exactly. I don't know. It's just a lot. It's really a lot. Being bullied through life. Really? What? Nigga, I was bullied. I was bullied, bro. But yeah. Besides that, it teaches you. Like you I mean, you, yeah, you, you, you learn, learn, yeah. You know, experience. Live, life, that's how life is, man. You live and learn off the experience. And, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, if you keep going the cycle like you're saying, they call it, you're insane pretty much. Like, exactly. So it doesn't work out if you keep going the circle, circle. But, um, all right, um, so Billie Eilish, or that's her name, right? Billie mm -hmm. Eilish? That's the girl name? Yes. So what's your connection with her? Well, it's like, it's not Irish, it's Elish. Elish? Yes. Okay. See, I didn't want to butcher it. I let you do that. Oh, Billy Elish? Um, uh, my connection with Billy, <laughs> when I was in members only, uh, I just seen somebody on Instagram say, Billy Elish follows you. And I'm like, who is this? And I was like, oh, she's fresh. She got style. I was like, okay. Follow back and then talk. She was like, I fought with you. I fought with you too. And then we became friends. That's it? That's it. Y'all still keep in touch? I mean, yeah, you feel me? I'll talk to her sometimes. Did she you was respond? She was like, Did you expect like, her to get so big like how she is now? Like, she's like number one. Yeah, like, bro, the shit right she's now. gonna be big. I told her, man, like, fuck all the hate. I know you're gonna be something, you're gonna be a star. And she was like, Yeah, her from day one. I told her from day one. Yeah, she's like, I seen her at the, what was it, Grammys or something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody was like, Billy, Billy. I was like, Who is this? Yeah. I, I, don't, I, I never listened to her music before. I, I, I heard her yeah, song I with uh, Khalid. Man, you gotta listen to that one. No, I, my daughter yeah, actually you, really you, loves You're here to put a song, man. I got put on by a seven year old. So, yeah. But I do like her now. I heard it from my daughter that I'm not gonna lie. Like my daughter was like, "Oh yeah, can you put that song on the the boyfriend? Is it boyfriend? Oh man, know. I'm like screwing this up. <laughs> is it boyfriend? What is it? I don't know. Oh, I don't it even sounds know like Brian knows what song. you're talking about. Though, okay, he's laughing. You know what I'm talking about? I do. You I do? do. I do. I don't remember the, the exact. Okay, but you get what I'm trying to Okay, my daughter like came home singing it like over and over, and I'm like. She's like, can you play that song? I'm like, okay. And I just, then I'm like, oh. And then I heard the Khalid one, Lovely, right? Mm -hmm. I like that one. I fuck with that one. It's my dog for life. There's a few of them. I like them. I just, but yeah, I got put on by a seven year old. Okay. And I was listening uh, to some of your music and stuff. Uh, you don't really have a lot of content out like that. Like, like I don't see no music videos. No, I don't People watch music, music videos, videos though these days. Like, there's no MTV to watch music videos. I don't have music videos, but I do have a music video that's going to be premiering very soon. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be going to Colorado next week, and I shot a movie two years ago. Don't get on, don't get on acid again, bro. Me? Yeah. Um, I think that's already on the itinerary. <laughs> we're Probably just is. not yeah. on that one. <laughs> I'm not going to. We'll meet you gonna, at the bottom of the mountain, though. I'm not going to do that. Trust me, the times I lived in Colorado. My sister lives the there. She lives in Vail. For your stomach problems, so I'm you not see? doing acid. Yeah. If you, if you, if any of y'all got stomach problems, don't take shrooms. Don't take no psychedelics, cause it will fuck y'all stomach up. 
folkröstning. Vad har du gjort hans för för? Uh, two days I believe. Yeah, they gave it to like get the get the pain away and everything. They just wrote some shit down and I was like, just do this. I was like, okay. So they gave you another job? No, they gave you another job. They literally just wrote down like some shit to do. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. That was pretty crazy. Okay, and then um. You got a, uh, you're in a movie that you're telling me that you're about to be yeah, premiering so, at? Yes, it's going to be premiered uh, at South by Southwest, March 13th, I believe, yeah. Um, it's called Crestum. Crestum, Crestum. Yeah, I was, uh, <coughs> I was out with Crestum with uh, my boy Champu Sloppy. Shout out my boy Sloppy. Hope you bro. Uh, you know, he brought me into the weed industry and the weed business. Cause it was something I always wanted to do. And oh, I so you're in the weed business too? Yeah, you know, I was working as a, as a packager, you know. Was a what package. state is this in? Huh? What state is this? Colorado. Oh, Colorado? Yeah, yeah, I was uh, packaging weed and, and dabs and distilling and all these other things. Um, I'm in Colorado and I have my med badge. You still um, got the plug for that still? Oh no, no camera recording, so... Oh, all right, we'll talk after the camera, we'll talk after the camera. But yeah, um, you know, some sl sloppy brought me in and he was like, yeah, man, you know, do these things. And I was in Kendall at the time with my boy Dylan, mm -hmm. uh, Dylan's Visions, you know, the creative aspects. And uh, he was just like, fuck it, man, let's just go out to Colorado and talk to Jaw about it. And he was like, it was kind of crazy. <laughs> Jaw was off acid before I asked him. And he was like, yeah, man, you know, actually, we get you to fight. He's like, just come on to the studio. And he, he was off acid. Get you to fight? Flight, flight, oh, flight. Yeah, he's like, I get you to flight, bro. Just, just come on through. I was like, okay. So uh, I came all the way from Kendall to Broward. And then he was off acid at the time. And he was like, oh, yeah, let me go upstairs and give you the bread. So he gives me the bread. And then he's like, what's your number again? And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, when were you born? Like, what? what's your number? And I was like, what's, he's like, what's your favorite number? And I was like, four. And then he's like, stay right there, stay right there. He goes on Google and he looks up the number four and he's like, you're an angel. <laughs> Literally looked me in my eyes and he's like, you're an angel. And then he's like, go have fun in Colorado. So then I moved to Colorado, learned about the weed business, uh, tried to put everybody else on, you know. And just like that, it was history. I actually have pictures. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty cool. I go at the end of March. Oh, are you in March? Colorado too? Yeah, snowboarding. Oh, okay. The season's over the 20th. I April, only did so it I one time. In. I love it. And my so sister lives in fun. Vail right now, so I'm taking full-fledged advantage oh, yeah, that she gets to. like the ski for free and the snowboarding up for the lift. So I got free lift tickets. So I, I'm want to to, I want to do that too. I want to snowboard. Yeah, yeah, this is actually a... Uh, well, I'm going, but you can join. This is first one. 2017, when I first got out there, and I got a keyblade. Oh, but yeah, this was uh, due to Sloppy, you know, Sloppy lived out in the, Crestone is literally the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna tell y'all this now. Really? If you go to Colorado, I've never even heard of it. if you go to Colorado, all the way to Denver, if you're flying from Denver, you're gonna drive four hours. So it basically is so like a like trip from here. Colorado Springs? Yeah, so it's basically like a trip from here to Orlando. So basically a four hour drive, Orlando, two hours from here? Nah, that's like two, two, two hours. You mean more like Tampa, Clearwater, right? Like four hours? Orlando's two hours? No, like two hours like, and a half. I don't know, I get there in two hours. Yeah, right? Two hours and a half. Okay, I guess so. Yeah, so, yeah, from yeah. Like, so from like Miami, then it's like yeah, four yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're taking Oh, yeah, Miami, yeah, probably four. Yeah, so you, you'll take like a four hour, I took a four hour drive out there, and uh, when I landed, it was at nighttime, so you had to go through, you know, mountains and passes and other things. And who picked us up? Me and my boy Dylan at the time was uh, uh, Ben's, Ben's Rome, Sloppy's uh, producer. Uh -huh. And he, I call him the mad scientist because he, he was the one that, you know, put me on to like a lot of things and like how to make dabs and how to like basically take the THC component out of the weed itself and just do whatever you want with it. Um, he picked us up, you know, it's like, pitch black outside, man. He's just driving. He's like, yeah, you know, 
about Colorado, you know, I was in a, went to an Indian pass about, uh, you know, ayahuasca and stuff, and if you guys want to do like a little spiritual, you know, getaway and stuff, I can put y'all on, this and that. I was like, okay, that's sick, that's sick. Uh, freaking, what was it? Moose? Mountain lions was out there? In the middle of nowhere, bro, pitch black. I was just like, nah, this is not real. Right now. <laughs> I was like, this is not real. And I was like, this shit is really real. Like, you really see these these animals out here. Were the animals cool? Like, they yeah, have... yeah, people got their own sheep. People got, like, deer. When I was out in Colorado, I wanted a pet deer. I wanted a pet deer. Yeah, I went to Kansas and my friend has, like, a whole farm and I saw a cow up close. Yeah, it's just like... You don't see that the roosters just fly and land on your shoulder, just chilling. Oh, fuck that. They no, I'm serious. It's kind of weird. It is weird, but, like, you know, once once you uh, live the city life for so long and you're like... Oh, you're so it? used to it, right? Huh? You're so used to the city life that you just missed it or no? No, what it was was I got tired of the city life. Like, I was around a lot of people. There was a lot of genuine people that I was around, but then there was a lot of snakes and a lot of people that just were terrible. Like, their personality was just terrible, and I was like, bro, I can't, I can't mentally be here, mm -hmm. so I had to get away, and I got away to Colorado, and honestly, it was like, Crestone is a town of uh, 200 people, so, like, when I tell you it's like the middle of nowhere, like, I'm really trying to show y'all. So they don't got no public, they don't got none of that. It's the middle yeah, of like 45 nowhere. minutes away. So, it's like, so what do you, what do you, like... So y'all, y'all, y'all chilling y'all on meat and cooking and yeah, all that? They, everything off the grid. It's literally like off the grid, like living off the grid. Like people got their own water supply. They got their own vegetables they growing. They who's, got, they cook, who's cooking your meal? Like how you eat? Me? Me? Oh, there was like one store in town. Oh, okay. it's like literally yeah, a population like of 200 people. Yeah, like all local produce and everything yeah. like that. Fire. Oh, good. They're Way good better though. than public. It's really good. But, but, nah, but like it's because we fresh meat, we all fresh, all the chemicals fresh. they put just to ship everything and keep mm -hmm. it fresh and all that. So I'm pretty sure because they it sounds like what you're saying. It sounds like no Texas every, they, is like that too. North Carolina. Oh, I've never been to Kansas. Kansas all of them. Bro, they opened up a pizza shop there. I like country states. They have the food. Better it tastes or pizza. organic. Mm -hmm. Better than New York pizza. I was like, nah, this is not real. <laughs> This life is not real. That's why I had to stay there for two years because I was like, I feel like I'm living in a fantasy right now. But then, about the movie, you know, I was staying out there for two years and then uh, Sloppy lived there. So I was like, oh, okay. So he knew uh, somebody, because he's from uh, North Carolina, so he knew somebody in North Carolina that he knew from like years ago and they were like, hey, you know, we wanted to get, uh, a movie about you and your your peoples because he's he has a, a group called dead god and um, i'm also part of dead god and like a lot of small different groups and stuff like that um so he was like yeah you know we want to shoot a movie about you guys uh out in crestone we got the we got the uh budget for it and we're just going to film you guys you know just uh keep it real genuine and, and real so i was like well wow okay cool this is sick you know marty and corey they were the producers and the editors and directors of everything. And it was uh, pretty sick, man. What's the storyline for the movie? Uh, it's basically about the last SoundCloud rappers what? on the earth. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, that live in the middle of nowhere and trying to survive. And then you know, they, they stick together with, uh, <laughs> like, you know, it's like brother brotherhood, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. like, Everybody respect everybody, and like we try to like survive together. So it's like it's pretty. It was a it was a good it was a good movie. And it, was a, it was a good time. Um, but yeah, uh, along those lines, I shot the movie, and that's the one music video that I got to shoot. Uh, it was about Chaos Emeralds. It's a song called Chaos Emeralds. Sonic. Yeah, yeah the Sonic one. Um, so I want to see how that how that goes. So that's gonna. Be that's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. It's a pretty fun feeling. They have like a whole premiere thing. Yeah, whole That'll premiere. That'll be so fun. I'm trying to get some merch out there so that I can just be like, oh yeah, that was me on the big screen. Is it going to be a movie theater or anything like that? Or uh, yeah, it's going to be at like, YouTube or? It's going to be at like a, like a theater. So the local theater? Yeah. Up there, it's, right? It's, yeah, like, it's, what, what it is? I don't know, South by Southwest is crazy. I've never been to Texas in my life. Like, I've 
Texas. Really? Love. Never been to Texas. Really? Love. Never been to Which Texas. part though? Uh, I said Austin. Austin's yeah. the best. Oh, what? Weird. They have the best food too. Yeah, he the best too. food. No, Austin is a shit. My sister lived there too because she was too? in the Austin. army. Mm -hmm. So Austin. there's an area called the there's Domain, and they have so many restaurants. They have really good like bars, spots like where they have music, vibe like spots. Three days. So no, there's a lot you can do. It's really cool. Sick. I've really never been to Texas, so it's like yeah. my first time Their going to Texas. Their food trucks, all the food trucks are good too. Yeah, I know. I'm such a foodie. Sorry, guys. I love food. I love eating. Eating is like, oh, um, I feel like that's life. Yeah, it is. That's Agreed. literally life. Mm -hmm. I would eat any day before anything else. I would eat. <laughs> I would eat. Okay. No, y'all don't give me some good food because that's really good. That's Play okay. I was on Uber Eats while Play you were coming, so don't feel so bad. So what's up, Ryan? Um, you eating the booty here? Or what? what? <laughs> what? Huh? You eating the booty here or not? Huh? What were you saying? See the beer can <laughs> coming in. Let me see. I know you oh, that? Not, not no booty though. Oh, oh, mm -mm. no. <laughs> 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 no. Y'all Jamaicans be lying, boy. One eat pom will not eat the booty. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh my god. Not that. So, well, um, um, what's the top, like, top five rappers that inspired you in your music, like, to be I'm not gonna lie to you. Don't call me ignorant. I listen to a lot of rap. I listen to everything, because, you know, I, I DJ and stuff too. Oh, I know you DJ. Yeah, so. I was just a little bit, you know. Um, my dad was a DJ, my uncle was a DJ, uh, some other friends I knew were DJs, so I was like, I might as well get into it. Just like my teacher said, I might as well dip my hands in everything. So uh, I was DJ for a little bit, and you know, one of my good um, DJ friends, Lil High Hands, he was like, yeah man, my, my music selection is for any kind of vibe I'm in, for any kind of vibe. So he has. R&B, soul, rock, country, everything, everything. So I'm like, you know what? That's actually a good idea. You feel me? I, I might as well listen to every kind of genre of music out there because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a song that I like. like That's true. I do that. Yeah. So there's there's a lot of cool pop songs out there. There's a lot of cool, uh, what should I say, indie indie songs. Uh, being on this music journey, you know, with uh, everybody. Brought me to rock. I never used to listen to rock. I used to be See, ready. there's a there's a rock in the though. Cause I listen to every music too. I even listen to some classical shit too. Yeah. I just don't like to hear that yelling and breaking guitar but shit. But that's like heavy metal. That's yeah, not I don't technically mess with that. rock. I don't so know. Like you gotta be in a certain kind of and then there's like maybe. I don't, no, I don't understand so why are you breaking the guitar. Each his own. It's like everybody has their own like. Cause I cannot. <laughs> you guys probably all like house. And I cannot with the techno. Oh yeah. Oh, no. I, I can listen to techno. I, 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 I can't. I feel that. I feel like that. I go to like you know what is that place? Space? Oh, don't ever take me there again. I will never go back to space. Like that music. Just it was like a headache and a migraine. Okay, so like, you you probably was dealing with that progressing. for like two hours and a couple no, hours. No, no. I can listen I, to like twenty minutes, probably ten minutes. No, I can't do a full hour. Like five minutes. Yeah, I I can't I can't do techno. I'm not going to no. like, like, like remix to a hip hop song and then I'm still like put the beat back. It's probably three techno songs that back. I can listen to, but the whole womp womp, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that. You're like womp womp. Cut that. Yeah. That, that, that gotta stop. I can't do it. Me coming, you know, literally from Jamaica listening to reggae, listening to uh, R&B music, starting off listening to rap and then hearing like techno bro, it's just like, Alright. So yeah, like everybody just anything. mashing shit up together and people love it. Like no. Like I know there's art behind it too, but that's the a whole different ball. Dance. That's what it's I do know I do know a big techno DJ, you know, he's an artist, you know. DJ Alex Jordan and he plays for Ultra and stuff like that too. So like you know, I don't knock his hustle and of course, you know, diving into music I, I wanted to make a techno but not techno kind of song. Make a little John. That feel, yeah. Yeah, you make money off of that feel. Exactly, exactly. Shaq even is in that feel now. You gotta dip your hands in everything. In everything. If you don't if you don't like it, shit, it's gonna make you some money though. If you know what to do with it. Yeah, if you know what you're doing, you'll make some money. If you don't like it, you'll last longer in that field than hip hop. Yeah. 
All right, uh, since we're on the time schedule, um, we got a segment called BTS, Between the Sheets. You pick five questions and you answer them truthfully. Oh, I gotta close my eyes for this. Do you feel like the saying, there is always a perfect person for an imperfect person, or do you feel opposites don't attract? What is your personal experience, and have you ever dated someone opposite than you? Yes, and I hate them with my guts. <laughs> I hated them with my Somebody guts. opposite than you? Yes, I dated somebody <laughs> opposite of me, and I hate them with a passion. It was that Burning bad, man? Wow. Burning passion. I had to block, disassociate myself all day. That's intense. But now, you know, like my you girlfriend did. now, which is <coughs> no, over there. Her name, I'm not gonna say her name, but she has, queen. Clothing, she has a clothing brand as well. Oh, okay, go ahead and shout it out. Shout it out. Yeah, I definitely look into that. It's called Six Cents, and it's one of one pieces. Along with, uh, you know, general streetwear. So, you know, take a look <coughs> into it. It's really fire. She got some for us too, or no? No, no. no she <laughs> she actually yeah. wearing a collab hoodie right now. You know, okay. she's hand painted, hand sewn, DTG print. You know, it's pretty fire. You should check it out. But um, yeah, yeah. I'm a happy man now. You know, can't complain. Just How long have you guys been together? Um, five, six, five months. Just, just, just say around that. Yeah, you were better off going higher yeah, than just like. Five you don't want to mess that up. Five years, five, five months. months, five, five months. Oh, five, five months. months. Five oh, okay. Months. Oh, okay. Well, the longest I ever dated someone was probably about. I don't want to say it like this because it's probably going to sound like I was just like in and out. But the longest I ever dated someone was probably like a year. A year. Change. A, a year and change. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's so. <laughs> that's like so I mean, honeymoon phase. I can't even say nothing. For my girlfriend, I was I, my longest relationship was like six, three months. No. I wasn't staying in there. I was just trying to get something out. I'm gone. I, I was <laughs> choosing the wrong one. Well, I mean, how old are you? I'm 24. Yeah, we all young. So then you're really in a rush anyway. So go on. I'm well, ooh, so <laughs> I don't mean it like that. <laughs> Like, you've had like 24 <laughs> years, so now you've got five kids. months and you can have longer, but no, I, I wouldn't be I'm serious before that, you know what I mean? Like, any, I feel like 26 <laughs> and up, like, you should just yeah, live your you know, life, you know? Have I, friends and relationships and I travel that. and be I in a, that. you know, but I feel like the whole marriage thing, I think. Take your time. Take my yeah, advice. Of course, of Wait. Course, of course. <laughs> marriage, marriage is not in my head, like right now. Family, yes, but yeah, family, yeah, no, for nah. sure. I just feel nah. as if you can live your life as long as possible. Yeah. Do it. That's yeah. like my. Like, I don't know. I don't know if anybody's hustling and feeling that. That's, that's that comes through, and you know they're like, oh, I'm 20 something right now, but I just want to live my life. But then yeah. you know there's people that you know what's. What it is is if you connect with someone so you gotta heavy, grow with someone. You, yeah, you, you got to connect with someone so heavy. Like once you have that connection, it's, it's that connection you feel. But yeah, and it just, honestly, it takes time. Exactly. It takes time to grow. I've been through a lot of people and situations in my life, so I know when to settle down and chill. Cause me, literally living a rock star lifestyle, I've been doing drugs every single day for damn near six years straight. <laughs> Yeah, well, to get you. well, don't knock on wood. Yeah, you gonna need a little huh? I'll knock for you. Oh, I used to be a track star, so it's all good. <clears throat> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But good. besides that, I don't go crazy. You can, I take my shit in increments. Ecstasy, There's though. Increments? Y'all motherfuckers need to try ecstasy. I'm pointing at the camera. Y'all motherfuckers need to try ecstasy. Yeah, we ain't Y'all need to try ecstasy. We ain't Once y'all find the right vibes, Try that shit. I cannot. Try that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's just, hey, try 
Not everything, because of course you have to be sensible, but dip your hands, you feel me? If you have friends that ain't fuck their life up and they like, nigga, try some ecstasy, would you try it? No. Well, but here's would you the try thing. it though? If their life is. Tell me this, Ruby. If their life is exceptionally well off, there's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. And this nigga says, try ecstasy. What? Well, but in my defense, how do you not know you're not allergic to what's in ecstasy if you well, never if you tried don't, it? Well, if that's the case, Just if somebody say. says no, then that's it. If they say yeah, then they try it. I ain't, I ain't encouraging nobody to take drugs, you feel me? I'm just saying ecstasy. No, we're just promoting ecstasy. That's not encouraging. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not encouraging nobody to take drugs. I don't want to be, I want to come off that as that person, you know what I mean? I live my life how I live my life. And certain situations and aspects brought me to where I am today. It's just, I've tried ecstasy. And ecstasy is really? fucking lit. Mm -hmm. So, try ecstasy. But not do drugs. Not do drugs. But isn't ecstasy technically a drug? It, it is, is a technically drug. a drug, but I'm not saying do heavy drugs. I said try ecstasy. But isn't what's uh. in ecstasy? <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm just trying to like comprehend how that works. That's also, you ought to love love, bro. Works it, what? Ecstasy? Yeah, bro. You ought to love Like, what's ecstasy made out of? Isn't it a bunch of like bullshit components? Right? Well, so technically, wouldn't that be. I don't want to get into this like that. As I said, I've done a lot of drugs and I sort of quote unquote well, call myself. I understand how you don't promote drugs, but that is a drug. It's not like it's mother nature. It's not weed. It's not shrooms. You. It's you know. I feel you. I'm not. I, you know, I'm not gonna say that. I'm things. not gonna say that. I, I respect that. You know. I respect that. I'm not gonna. No, I think myself. to each his own. Try <laughs> whatever you want. I'm just asking for a literal. Bro, you know. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. No, no. Trust me. I'm good. At least try to balance it or something. I don't yeah. Know I'm, I'm not telling you like every single day I wake up and I'm like. I get lit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you no, were, that's your that. prerogative, so you could anyways. Huh? Yeah, but I don't do that. I don't do that. You feel me? I just literally chill. And there's certain certain days you want to turn up and you want to get lit. So I get lit. Yeah. That's all it is. Nothing that's wrong with your definition of getting lit. Exactly. All right, let's exactly. finish these questions. Oh, there's another. You have to pick. You have four more. Four? Yeah. All right. What's this? What are some of your greatest childhood memories? My grandmother put me on to Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z is good though. My grandmother. That's good though. Grandma's got Shout some good Shout out to Grandma for putting me on the enemy. What is your top five anime? My top five enemy. Inuyasha? Dragon Ball Z. That's number one. Inuyasha. Uh, Cashier and Sims. Never seen that one. Um, oh, this is Cashier right here. This is Cashier, I had to get that up. Like, I literally felt that whole anime. Like, once you. Anime, I don't know how to explain it. Anime is not cartoons, man. Like, it literally has yeah. a whole story and a whole. Oh, I know. No, I used right. to read the books, I used to watch. Of course, I used to of course. But, you know, like, for the people out there, you feel me? That, oh, it's just cartoon. The only thing doing nah, something. It's all just different. Yeah. yeah. Once you get involved, like you kind of get hooked on. Yeah, it. you get hooked on it. So you know, uh, I related to Cash Earn, That's why I got the tattoo on me. Um, any Studio Ghibli film? Any Studio Ghibli film? Studio Ghibli is my favorite. Princess Mononoke. Yeah. Top. Top. I'm gonna have to check that top. out. Top. Princess Mononoke. Top. If y'all ain't watch that, I sleep. Uh. What else is there? There's so many animes that I've seen. Uh, Naruto? Nah, I wouldn't say Naruto. I fuck with Naruto, but it's not. And One Piece? It's too long. It's too long. It is it's long. a great it anime, long, but it's too long. Fairy Tale? Gundam. Fairy Tale is it. Gundam is one of my... Um, damn, I'm trying to remember all the animes that I've seen. I like Bleach, too. Oh, yeah. Bleach is lit. If y'all ain't seen uh, anything on Adult Swim, I'll tell y'all some some things. Paranoia Agent used to be on Adult Swim. Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, oh, Full Metal yeah, Alchemist. I like that one too. Um, <laughs> everybody says Berserk is lit. Berserk is lit. Uh, what's that other one? Where everybody turned into Titans. Uh, Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. I literally said Titans. 
Um, yeah, there's, there's too many. There's too many. But I named a lot. So one of my favorites is, of course, any I'm sure, but Dragon Ball and Studio Ghibli and uh, Caption. Gundam. I like Gundam. I like, I like <coughs> Gundam. G Gundam is the like, ones where they move their bodies mm-hmm. in, the, in the suits. That shit was lit. They went crazy. Alright. Alright, I'm on to the next question. Okay. Let's make this the last one because we're on the talk thing with you. Can I get the next question? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> What it is, but it sounds good. Go ahead. It's probably yours. Probably. Yours what is, is a relationship deal breaker for you? <coughs> oh shit. Deal breaker, like, like, nah, I can't do this no more. Yeah, her feet. What, what is it? Nah. Yes. Nah. Hygiene. 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 So she starts farming your face, can you fuck me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's whoa, like mad extra. That's, that's like, I was that's just gonna eye. say that. <laughs> that's pink eye. And whoever got a fetish like that, that is needs definitely help. That needs, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Recently, somebody told me. You see? Somebody told me some crazy fetish. Somebody told me some crazy fetish, and I was like, what is wrong with people out in this world today? Somebody said that they like, you know, doing the thing in the what, anal. What's the thing? Oh, okay. In the anal, he like, he... My homegirl told me the story. She was like, yeah, you know, I was talking to this guy, and uh, she has his name saved as Booty Man. Oh. Under the phone. Um, so he was like, yeah, you know, I'm an ass man, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I like to do anal, I like to eat it, but uh, I like to spice things up a little bit. Uh, uh, my, my fetish, uh, he's like, fuck, I feel crazy saying this. Like, I'm reading the messages on it. Damn, what's, what's, this, what's, he, what's he about to say? He was like, yeah, uh, 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 I like when girls shit in my mouth. And I was like, whoa! I was like, no, he didn't! I was like, is this why you call him booty, man? I was like, no! Boy, boy, boy. That's crazy. Bro, I'm telling you, people got some weird fit. Bro, living no, in a porn house. Weird ones, living in a porn house. I mean, um, this grown man told me one time, yeah, if you don't do it, somebody else can do it. Why? If you don't get freaky, someone else won't get freaky for her. Somebody, else, this grown man told me that one time. I remember I was like in high school, and he was like, cause I used to be like, I'm not eating no booty, I'm not doing that. Fuck that shit no more. I'm not eating the pussy. Oh, I, used, I used to say all that when I was in high school. And then he was like, well, if you don't do it, someone else gonna do it. <laughs> hey, by all means, go right up. Hey, there are plenty of fish in the sea, as they say. That's true. <laughs> all right, man. Um, let everybody know they can find you, Ryan. Um, oh, my handles. Hi, my name's Ryan. As in, <coughs> I get high. My name. That is S Ryan H I G H M Y N A M E S R Y A N is my Instagram, Twitter, and Ryan Bundy is my SoundCloud. Uh, Paranoia Disorder is my clothing brand. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you need clothes, if you need ecstasy, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me yeah. for drugs. That is not me. I got nothing. So, like Kodak said. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. If you need clothes, if you need, uh, you know, drip, contact me. I got ripped jeans and I custom made. Don't forget so, the porn house too now. Nah, get the porn house. Don't live my life, live your own life. <laughs> All right, thank you for coming to the Culture Podcast. Thank you for coming. <laughs>